Hi, my name is Paresh Gupta. I'm part of the technical marketing team at Cisco Systems focusing on storage networking. In next few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how easy and simple it is to configure and monitor Cisco MDS switches using Device Manager. The very first step is to establish IP connectivity between MDS switch and the PC on which Device Manager will be running. To make this work, using the setup mode, you'll have to configure few basic settings like admin password, switch name, IP address and mask on the Management Zero interface. For rest of the options, retain the default values and save the configuration. The next step is to use a PC which has IP connectivity to the Management Zero interface of the switch. Note that no special application is needed to load Device Manager. All you need to do is fire the browser and point it to the IP address configured under the Management Zero interface. This will load a Cisco Device Manager page. To load the application, click on Cisco Device Manager link, which opens a login window. Use the IP address as the device name, along with user and password, which was configured under the setup mode. On successful login, a graphical application would load with the front view of the switch. This graphical interface provides numerous options to configure and monitor the switch. Let's explore them one by one. Before using the switch with production traffic, you can verify the overall health of the system using the summary tab. The next step would be to connect host and storage device to bring up first SAN. This requires multiple steps like vSAN and zoning configuration. But the quick config wizard under the FC tab simplifies the overall process within few seconds. Here, a full matrix of all the ports is available. These ports can be selected to group them under the same zone. The vSAN number can be changed under the box provided. After finalizing ports, click the next button, verify config and push it to the switch to make it active. That's all you need to make the switch work in a basic SAN environment. Let's check the other capabilities of the device manager. The device tab shows options like preferences for setting device manager application preferences. The command line interface option would open a CLI session to the switch. Under the physical tab, you can check the inventory, various hardware modules, temperature, along with the status of the power supplies, fans, and the overall system status. The interface tab provides detailed capabilities to configure all the interfaces on the switch. This includes creating port channel, setting the modes of the interface along with other features like span, port tracking, port guard, etc. If errors are suspected on a port, diagnostics option can be used for internal and external loopback testing. Verification can be done by looking at the transceiver details. Choosing the FC enabled ports under the monitor option shows a consolidated view of the traffic statistics. Other counters are available under different tabs. The FC tab provides options to configure detailed fiber channel settings. FICON, IP and security tab provides respective configuration options. Admin tab shows multiple administrative options for the switch like the configuration copying and saving, setting NTP server, licensing, and Cisco Fabric Services. You can download the output of ShowTech support in gzip format to be sent to Cisco TAC. Apart from shown tabs, configuration and monitoring of a particular component can also be done using the graphical interface. For example, double-clicking the management interface opens a separate window for it. Clicking the status or the fan LED shows the overall status of the device and fan respectively. Clicking on an interface allows to configure it like the mode, speed and various other parameters under the respective tabs. At any point you can access the config guide or Cisco support via the help tab. To summarize, Cisco Device Manager provides you an intuitive and user-friendly way to configure Cisco MDS switches. Especially, the quick config wizard enables fast deployment and simplified initial provisioning.